Hello world, welcome to the 45th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the fourth video in my Raspberry Pi playlist, and today we're going to set up a remote desktop connection um, with our laptop, or with my laptop. So for me, the primary purpose of this remote connection will be recording these YouTube videos so you can see what we're doing and I don't have to have separate software for my Raspberry Pi. Um, I plan on using the 7 inch touchscreen that we installed in the previous video. So here's what that looks like and my Raspberry Pi is already turned on. So today we're going to start off already remotely connected so I can record how you would do it on your Raspberry Pi. I have the Raspberry Pi 4 and I don't know if this works on all visions versions so just beware of that. So first turn on your Raspberry Pi 4. So mine is already on using the 7 inch touchscreen. Then once it's turned on you're going to go to the terminal. All right, and then you're going to type in hostname dash I and it will give you your IP address write this down because you're gonna need it shortly alright next you're going to type in the next command sudo sudo apt get install tight VNC server okay you're going to press enter and it will install it I've already have it installed so we won't uh, do that and then once it's complete you are going to type in sudo apt-get install xrdp press enter and let that run all right and that's all you need on your Raspberry Pi so I will exit out of this and we will also exit out of the remote connection all right so next what you'll need to do is search for the remote desktop con connection right here yours will be blank right there it will look like this so you're going to type in the IP address we just got on the Raspberry Pi 4 um, using hostname dash capital I my autocompletes already turn on then you'll press connect all right and then you will type in pi pi lowercase assuming you haven't changed the username when you first started it up and then the password default is raspberry all lowercase assuming you haven't changed it I have changed mine so let me type that in And there you go I am now connected to my Raspberry Pi 4 it is important to note and I don't think you can see it but when I these are independent from the 7 inch touchscreen so it's hard to see because of the glare but uh, when I type in this Windows terminal the Windows terminal is not set up on the Raspberry Pi 4 so if I tilt it, maybe you can see that there is no terminal. So, you know, when we start running applications, uh, it'll depend on what I'm using it for. So if I'm just recording videos, I'll probably use this desktop connection. If I'm doing actual live testing, it'll be on the touchscreen. All right, and to exit out, you will just exit out here. And that's it, the remote desktop connection is on there. All right, and that's it. So I am doing this wirelessly too. So it's able to, if you have a wired connection, that's fine. You just plug the uh, Cat5 cable here. Right there. Into your desktop or laptop. Um, 
So please leave a comment if you followed along and tell me if it works for you. Uh, also, please consider subscribing to my channel so you can see how I plan on use, using my Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, spoiler is if you go to the very first video, I explain exactly what I'm going to be doing with my Raspberry Pi 4. So thanks for the support. Goodbye, world.